Communicating designs, whether simple in form or complex in function, is a critical part of a product design role. Being able to give a product presentation with stunning images is best served using SOLIDWORKS Visualize. So, to help you get moving in the right direction, check out these six quick pro tips to hopefully help make your next design review, stakeholder update, focus group analysis, or even product swatch proposal a huge success. Pro tip number one. Configurations are a really handy way to create multiple variations of your model's appearance and can really streamline bulk renderings with the Visualize queue. They're also really great to use for showing different positions of an assembly. I will bring in another positional component and modify its opacity from the models tab, giving it a ghost-like effect. This simple but effective way illustrates product motions and positions without all of the overhead of rendering a full animation or doing this work in a post-processing application such as Photoshop. You can also use the same technique of changing the opacity of the exterior components to help show off complex internals. If this look is effective, Try using a glass appearance as well to give an even more artistic approach. I'll often modify the glass color density to a higher value and change the IOR from anywhere around 1 to 1.3 to get my desired effect. Pro tip number two, don't constrain all of your images to using the entire assembly. It's really easy to hide out the parts you don't need, take the ones you want, copy and paste them and visualize, and you can pinpoint exactly what you want the audience to look at. In this example, I have multiple anodized color options included in a single render. I've added in some depth of field to a series of three identical cameras that have different focus points. These different focus points let me draw the viewer's eye to each one of the components as we click through each image in the slides. Try playing around with the different positions as well. If you had a handful of these in a real photo studio, how'd they be arranged? This is another effective way to show multiple colors or views without all the noise of the entire assembly. Pro tip number three. CAD users are all familiar with creating exploded views. For simple exploded views, using the manipulator in Visualize is an easy and manageable method. For more complex exploded views, make sure to turn off the real-time rendering option. You'll have excellent performance for moving and positioning parts. If you have the monitor option enabled when you imported the assembly, it's always really easy to jump right back to SOLIDWORKS CAD, create the exploded view, save the assembly, and you'll get the update right inside of Visualize. Pro tip number four. Visualize has a bunch of really useful additional pass options when rendering out images. I often include ambient occlusion and global illumination outputs, which paints the assembly flat white and captures the shadowing from an evenly lit environment. This output, partnered with a locked camera perspective and position, can be very useful for creating composite images when combined with another standard render with color. In this example, once I've gotten the two images rendered out with the alpha channels included, I can stack them on top of each other to really concentrate the audience's eye on the etching on the battery casing and take away all of the other information in the model by not completely removing it from the render. Pro tip number five. When you're setting up all of these configurations and cameras, snap a couple branding shots and visualize as well. A handful of close-up cameras, again, adding depth of field to focus the viewer's attention, to any of the decals or logos, adds a really nice detailed touch to any presentation and can often be a great background image for PowerPoint. Pro tip number six. My last pro tip is to utilize the interactive output in Visualize Pro. This is a really nice way to not only communicate the design, but give the feel of realism to what could be only a virtual product at that time. To speed up the rendering time, I use a 1920 by 1080 output, or you can go down to a 1280 by 720 at 96 DPI. 12 images per orbit and one orbit is often enough to add the finishing touch to any visual presentation. Make sure you're centered on the point of rotation, and you can do this with a simple Control-Alt, right mouse button click. Once rendered, create a link in your PowerPoint presentation to open up the HTML content. These are all really fun and effective ways to bring a little more creativity and modern style to final renderings for whatever your presentation might be. With the help of multiple camera creations, configurations, 
depth of field attributes, and additional rendering passes all align with the powerful and efficient Q capabilities right inside of Visualize Professional, these product presentations can be built in little time. Stay tuned for my next pro tip video, where we'll take a look at the interactive virtual reality output inside of Visualize Professional.